briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1986, a controversial Florida law allowing the removal of corneal tissues from deceased individuals for transplantation ignited a legal battle. The case, State Ver Powell, examined the constitutionality of the law which came under scrutiny when the families of the deceased individuals realized that no consent was obtained prior to cornea removal. The families subsequently filed lawsuits claiming damages and alleging that this law violated their constitutional rights. The dispute kicked off in lower courts, where the law's constitutionality was first declared void. The case was then elevated to the appellate court, which reversed the decision, siding with the state and upholding the law's constitutionality. They saw the benefit of the law, enabling people, including infants, to regain their sight as justifiable despite the potential demand and shortage of corneal tissues. However, it was the Florida Supreme Court's final ruling that made headlines. They not only upheld the appellate court's decision, but also clarified that once a person dies, their constitutional rights cease and any remaining rights transfer to the next of kin. This tricky discussion brought into play the Florida Constitution's prohibition of private property being seized for non-public purposes. The court held that the corneal tissues, once removed, would serve a public purpose, restoring sight, therefore not violating this constitutional provision. Moreover, the justices touched upon the complexities of the law, acknowledging that it intertwined with moral, ethical, theological, and philosophical issues, suggesting that these concerns were more suitable for legislative rather than legal debates. In conclusion, the ruling highlighted how a person's rights can evolve even after death. It confirmed the Florida law, allowing corneal tissues removal without obtaining the kin's consent for transplants, was constitutional underlining the state's objective to restore sight whenever possible, while ensuring the discussion of its ethical implications remained within the legislative domain. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.